We just got back from a 4,000 mile road trip in our Tesla Model 3. We went all the way from Las Vegas to Chicago and back for the holidays. And because I didn't explain it to on the video, uh, I'll outline our stops on the way there and the way back here. So on the way from Las Vegas to Chicago, we took three days. And day one, we went from Vegas to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. Then the second day from New Mexico to Tulsa, Oklahoma. And then the third day from Tulsa, Oklahoma to Chicago, Illinois. And on the way back, we left a half a day early. So our first trip was just from Chicago to St. Louis. Uh, day two from that trip was from St. Louis all the way to Shamrock, Texas. Day three, we went from Shamrock, Texas to Flagstaff, Arizona. And that last day was pretty short from Flagstaff to Las Vegas. Follow along and check it out. Day one of our road trip, took a quick stop to my grandma's house to be the bearer of gifts because it is Christmas time. We got a lot of stuff to pick up and drop off for the family. Here is what the trunk looks like, just packed with gifts. And we can see our luggage back there. We are Santa Claus, huh? Yes, we are. And in the car, we got coffee and stuff right here. In the back, we have our snacks, but you can see we are pretty packed up back there. We got a little mattress and some pillows in case we ever need to go camp mode here in case of emergencies. Unless you want to do it for fun again, what do you think? Yes, no. Yes, no. No. So we're off and let's look at our first stop. We're making all the way from Vegas to Kingman, Arizona little under two hours and there is the Route 66 Museum with the supercharger in the parking lot. So that'll be kind of cool to charge while we look, huh? Yes. Made it to Kingman, got the museum behind us, just plugged into the 250 kilowatt supercharger. How are you feeling? Okay. Pretty cool little area here the little gift shop and museum but with the car here the car is at about 78 percent we took our time in the museum too so that was nice so from 37 percent to 80 percent costs us about 14 dollars and there's plenty to get to our next supercharger and next destination easy enough just take it out here if i can actually twist it here get it right back it's already closed and we're good to go off to our next stop. We're gonna go to Flagstaff, but first for some lunch at good old Subway. Now, ideally you should probably eat while you're supercharged, but we had a Subway gift card and we wanted to check out the museum. So we don't mind taking some extra time. But look what we got at the museum actually. We got the Route 66 Passport. So you can go to certain places here. It shows up like pretty cool attractions, but so the uh, museum we went to, we got our stamp, the date right there, and we can go along the whole route. So there's plenty of stuff to kind of check out here. You get a bunch of stamps. But anyways, now we're off to Flagstaff. Next. We got about two hours there. We'll get there with 23% charge. We have about, let's see, here, 76 right now. And how are you feeling? Can you make it there? Yes. Maybe get some coffee on the way, but we are off to Flagstaff.
upgrade it to Flagstaff for 15% battery. This was like a super, super hard supercharger to find. It's kind of like in the middle of nowhere, tucked in behind a hotel here. So it took us a little bit, driving in circles once we got here. Navigation didn't help too much, but we're here at 15% and we'll be here for about, it says 55 minutes to a full charge, but we only need like 20, 25 minutes to get to where we're going next. Oh, really? Supercharger station, little beautiful view of Flagstaff over the hill, and little hotel we're gonna stop in to use a bathroom, get some snacks. We're here in Flagstaff, but that's where we're heading, and I'm kind of happy we're not there right now because that doesn't look too fun. So we cut the Flagstaff stop a little bit short. It wanted us to charge a lot fuller to be able to skip one supercharger, but to be more efficient, we're gonna stop at the next supercharger. So instead of being here for like 40, 45 minutes, we're going to the next one for 15 minutes only. Stay here for only 15 minutes, and that way we save some time. Stop like a little more frequently, but saving more time overall. Made it to Holbrook. Come on. So that stretch from Flagstaff to Holbrook, that hour stretch, what do you think? Was it entertaining or boring? It's boring. It wasn't it was a, too bad. It was a boring route. But at least we got a Burger King here to hang out in a little bit and a faster charger, 250 kilowatts compared to 150 in Holbrook. So we'll hang out Burger King for a little bit, fast charge, and then get back on the road. All right, so just ate at Burger King out here in Holbrook. Two things. One, having autopilot is like a huge lifesaver on these road trips. And two, that charging was like 20 bucks, but it went from like 15 to 72%. And the difference between a 150 and 250 kilowatt charger is huge. Like we ate pretty fast in there and, and this charged like ridiculously fast. So that was, that was pretty cool. But onward to or towards Albuquerque. So we made it to Gallup, kind of got pretty dark pretty fast. We're going that way and the sun's coming this way. So the days are pretty short for us on this road trip, but we made it here. We got one more leg after this to Albuquerque. We'll be here for about 20 minutes. Not too much here besides the Best Western Hotel behind me, mm -hmm. but she's already snoozing in the car. So we don't need something like that. But also it got pretty cold out. I took my sweatpants off at the last stop because it was like 55 and now it's 37 so getting a little chilly getting closer to the storm all right so we are about ready to go we got one last leg here for day one we'll get to our next supercharger with 16 percent, so plenty of buffer there then we got some family we're staying with in albuquerque as well so we'll probably stay at this charger for a little longer than 10 minutes because we want some battery in the morning to actually get out and start right away in the morning so last leg of the day here we go Made it to Albuquerque, plugged in back here. Nobody else here except one car way back there, but it's about 8.30. We got a mall behind us. We're gonna walk around a little bit. It's like an outdoor mall, but everything is closed. But while the car charges, while we wait for a pretty good charge so we can take off in the morning and not have to worry about it then, we're gonna walk around a little bit. So walking around didn't last too long. It's pretty chilly out here, but 
we are signing off for the night. We got her family living like five minutes away. We'll stay the night there and then get enough charge right now to hit the road tomorrow and start bright and early. Anything else? How do you think of day one? How was it? It wasn't bad. Yeah. It was really a chill drive. It didn't seem yeah. that bad. More stops tomorrow, hopefully. We didn't stop too much. It's like too many attractions here, but we'll get more in tomorrow. Leave a little bit earlier, have more time in the day to go and see some stuff. Eight o'clock in the morning. We just finished packing the car. We hit the cold finally. It's 21 degrees out right now. So are you warm or are you cold? I am warm. Oh, sorry. I am warm. I mean, I'm cold. <laughs> I can't think right now. We're freezing coming from Vegas, 21 degrees, and we're only getting into colder areas. So this will be a fun day driving through what is very, very cold to us. And day two, let's begin. First stop, Santa Rosa Supercharger. Santa Rosa Supercharger. And then we'll see you from there. We got here in Santa Rosa with 8% charge. And how was your nap? It was really good. Drink coffee and you still fell asleep like 10 minutes afterwards, huh? Yeah. That was quite a boring drive, not too much to look at, but it's 11 degrees out, so we're gonna go plug in really quick and then either stay out in here or go out in the hotel to warm up. So it wants us to wait here for 55 minutes to be able to like skip this charger and skip this charger and go to this one way back there we're gonna not spend that much time here so we mentioned before spending a little bit less time at the superchargers and just stopping more often so that's what we'll do here we'll probably get hang out here until we have enough charge to get to this one and then we'll stop here for a little bit as well instead of waiting here for almost an hour so i just added this charger to our stop and you can see it took time significantly off how long we have to be here we're at a 150 kilowatt charger. Walk around the hotel a little bit. Not too much around besides this hotel, so we're gonna hang out here. And someone parked next to us, so we're getting like half of the charge splitting it with them. So just hanging out for about 10 to 15 minutes before we go on to our next stop. It's nine degrees right now here. We're still heading in towards the storm, so we get even colder. How are you feeling about nine degrees right now? It's really cold right now. It's only gonna get colder from here on out. Still in the hotel where it's warm. Uh, a little longer than expected because as most of you probably know with Teslas, if you had a 150 kilowatt hour charger and someone parks next to you, you split the stall with them. So instead of the full 150, we're getting only 75. But with the 250s, if we're parked next to somebody, we still got our own whole 250. So it's a 150 here and someone parked next to us. So we're waiting a little bit longer than usual, but like 20, 25 minutes, then we'll hit the road. So we were here for like 20 minutes. We have plenty enough battery to get to the next charging stop. So we could have left a little sooner if we wanted to, but either way, we're off to Tukumkari, about an hour away here for the next charging stop. And we switched drivers. So she's awake and ready to go. Are you cold? No. <laughs> I'm freaking cold. I don't like to be cold. Quick stop for a little charge and to get some tissues and some snacks at the gas station. One of us is not too happy about it. <laughs> it's a long walk. It's across the street. Our car is like back there by the hotel and we're here. Far. Quick little stop here. Now we're off to Texas.
We stopped for lunch. The cafe was closed, so we didn't get anything. We had to get our passport stamp. But we're here at Cadillac Ranch. We'll check it out. Nice and warm out here. Oh, warm! <laughs> Um, as far as I know, Cadillac Ranch is just like, what is it, like 10 Cadillacs just halfway in the ground for no reason. And we're gonna go check it out. You can just like spray paint them. Obviously there's a bunch of spray paint over here. I don't know if there's like empty cans over there or cans to actually spray paint with, but we'll go check it out. Smells like spray paint too. I mean, not surprisingly. So we weren't there for very long. Why weren't we there for very long? It's so cold. <laughs> it's so cold my fingers. It is pretty cold. It's 22 degrees and what'd you say? I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> I cannot feel my fingertips. I thought it's gonna fall off. Not even halfway to Chicago yet. And we're gonna oh. die. <laughs> Besides being really cold, what'd you think? Pretty cool. If we come back in the summer, would you have a better time? Yeah. It was pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's pretty far from the road, so we have to walk a bit, but it's cool. A lot of spray paint there too, so it was fun. We stopped at a supercharger just past Cadillac Ranch because uh, we need to charge. And there was a Longhorn Steakhouse right next to it. No like quick food, fast food stuff, and we are kind of tired of fast food. We don't need too much anyway. But we got takeout from Longhorn Steakhouse, ordered it while we were on the way here. So I plugged the car in, walked up and picked it up, and now we're just going to eat some lunch in the car. <laughs> We are here in Shamrock, Texas, just for a little bit, quick charge before we make it to Weatherford. We can probably get there right now if we drove really slow and take it careful, but we're gonna get some extra charge just to be safe. Hang on a little bit. I got some cool stuff over here, so we'll walk around a little bit and check it out. Are you cold? <laughs> Look behind me. There's a person who is dead. It's a pretty cool spot. Some old Route 66 things. This cafe is closed, but it looks like it'd be pretty nice to go in. You can, I mean, you can probably hear it, but there's music coming from, I think, that bar down there. It's, it's pretty loud for a quiet town. It's pretty loud music. What do you think? Very loud. It is December 23rd, so we probably got a lot of things closed on our way back, especially tomorrow. But it's still pretty cool to see all the stuff from Route 66 out here. And just like that, after like 10 minutes, we are off to Weatherford for some Lucille's barbecue. Lucille's barbecue. All right, we made it to Weatherford, Oklahoma, 19, 18% battery left. We'll plug in for a little bit before we get to OKC. We got Lucille's here, but how are you? Are you hungry? Um, we can eat. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. We'll, we'll walk in and check it out, but the, the, in, the, the plan was to eat, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll just plug in and see what happens. So here's the Lucille's. We'll go check it out. They got a few Route 66 
stuff in the outside here too, just like everywhere else on this road, so it's pretty cool. We'll at least check that out. So I don't know if we're actually eating here or not, but they do stamp this Route 66 passport we got, so I'll bring this in and get a stamp for all of those seals here in Oklahoma. Thank you. We got our stamp and our passport, and we got some hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. And we're gonna hit the road again. Back to, well not back to, but on the way to Oklahoma City. to Oklahoma City with 26% battery left. We've got a good charge before we go to Pops Soda Ranch, a pretty cool place that we looked up on the way to Chicago on Route 66. And here in Oklahoma City, we have a outlet mall outdoors right next to us. What do you think about that? I don't really want to go, but if you really want to go, then we can go. Why don't you want to go? It's cold now. But don't you want to adventure into new cities no, and new places? it's outlet store. We had it in Vegas. <laughs> But this is different and it's outside and we can walk around a little bit. Are you happy now that you actually found stores you like and we're walking around in the cold? Yeah. Oh, I think they're cold. And we got some snow too. Getting chilly up here. That's a nice mall, huh? Uh, of course. So because we went to um, Kate Spade, now we get to go to Nike and then we'll be ready to go to Tulsa. So the rest of this day two was a lot of dark driving. We went for dinner after we charged and then it was just driving in the dark for like three hours. So we're here in Tulsa at the Holiday Inn. It's about 1030 and we are signing off for the night and we'll go all the way to Chicago hopefully. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. That's the plan. Hopefully it's not too snowy or windy or cold and we should be able to get there on time. So day three coming tomorrow. But for now, good night. Good night. Good morning, day three, just left the hotel. Uh, we had a pretty good breakfast, got a run in in the morning, so it's like nine o'clock. We a little bit than we wanted to, but we got a good run in, got a really good breakfast, and we're going to see the blue whale. What do you think about the blue whale? It looks really creepy, um, but we'll find out once we get there. Let's see, and hopefully by tonight we're in Chicago, but if not, we'll see what happens, but hopefully. Today hopefully. we make it. Yes. The blue whale. Swimming is prohibited, otherwise we would go swimming right now. This is nice. I'm not sure if that's open in the summer or not. I'm not sure what they even sell, but that's pretty cool. A little picnic area and then this kind of creepy looking thing. Would it... <laughs> it's pretty cool. We'll walk inside see what it looks like. We're inside the blue whale. There's like a ladder here. You could jump off the tail. Some ladders here. I mean, you can't go swimming for the sign and like it's frozen anyway. But. That's pretty cool. What do you think? I think it's pretty cool. We're in the whale with a little Christmas hat on. And they got slides here too. Look. You got some steps here. You can slide out the side of the whale. It's a pretty cool place if you can actually swim during the summer to hang out here. Too cold to stay too long there, but we're on our way to Joplin about an hour and a half to charge a little bit and maybe get some lunch if we're hungry, but we'll see. Hour and a half of drive ahead of us. Alright, just got here in Joplin, just plugged in, 
250 kilowatt hour charger, so we'll be going pretty quick. And we are gonna go to the gas station here, use the bathroom, get some snacks, and continue on our trip. So there we are out there. A couple other Teslas with us, and we're in the come and go gas station. Actually, a lot to look around and hang out in. It's pretty cool, pretty big area. What you looking for? I don't know, donut or ice. I think I like barbecue chicken and like stuff here. It's pretty cool. So we got our charger over there, the gas station. We're gonna head to the Harley Davidson hideout. We usually wouldn't go to some place like this, but my boy Nick is a big fan of motorcycles and stuff. So we're gonna check it out just for him and let him know what we think. All right, electric vehicle owner is checking out the motorcycles from Harley Davidson. I don't know what the hideout is, but we'll check it out. All right, Nick, happy birthday. Merry Christmas, got you a little bell. And we are back off towards, I don't know what our, our next stop is, but we'll, we'll find out in a bit. Next stop is Springfield, Missouri. Let's go. Let's go. Well, day three of the trip, we finally hit something here. So three of those chargers are out. So there's only four cars there right now. And we have to actually wait for the first time for a charge. Hopefully it won't be too long. We'll see. It's 12.30 right now. We'll see how long we get. We're just going to stop for like five or ten minutes. We have. We can get the next one at like 2%. We just don't want to chance it. So we'll plug in for like five, ten minutes, go to the bathroom, and then head out to Rolla. All right, we're plugged in, a little seven minute wait, so that wasn't too bad. We're gonna go to Max C store, check it out a little bit. We'll be quick here and we'll get going. This little like gas station is just like filled with alcohol, like filled, filled. Huge place, but <laughs> lots of alcohol to choose from. Quick stop, we got 76% charge. We should get to Rolla with plenty of charge. We're like there for like 10, 15 minutes and now we are on to Rolla, about an hour and a half. See you in a bit. here in Rolla, Missouri and perfectly there's a barbecue spot right in the parking lot here so we're gonna go get some lunch some brisket corn coleslaw bandanas barbecue what do you think very good very good Tastes like this, is, this is an awesome place this is cool this is really good yeah this brisket with this Chicago sweet barbecue sauce is straight gas all right back on the road again next stop St. Louis, but if you're ever in Rolla, Missouri, Bandana's Barbecue, highly recommend. <laughs> really good.
we skipped some video in St. Louis because we met up with some friends and spent some time with them and hung out with them. Just kind of went to their apartment, checked it out. But we are now in, where are we at? Springfield, Springfield, Springfield Illinois, across the parking lot from a grocery store, which is closed. And that's about it around here. So we're hanging out in the car for about 15, 20 minutes until we get to our next destination, which we don't really know where it is yet. We're trying to plan, maybe take a little detour to avoid some tolls or what's the quicker way here we're trying to figure it out right now so we'll let you guys know what we what we find out we decided to get back as fast as we can so we left that charger and are heading to normal illinois to grab some late night snack grub whatever they got there and then get back to chicago asap hopefully by 10 o'clock We skipped normal. We went to Casey's here to get some food and they're closed because it's Christmas Eve and it's freezing outside. It's nine degrees and it's super, super windy. Of course, once we got close to Chicago, we are very close. This is our last official stop, but I'm scared to go out and plug it in because how windy it is and how cold it is. So let's go. Really? I'll be quick. I'll be quick. Ready? Three, two, one. Hurry, babe. <sighs> that was freaking cold. <laughs> Whew, but we're getting a pretty good charge. I just plugged in. We're getting 229. Can we get to 250? 242? 250. Nine degrees. Winter storm. We're getting over 250. The Tesla superchargers. Oh my gosh. Whew. Thank God. Thank God. For real. All right. We stayed here for quite a bit to get some extra charge so we can go home and actually have some battery left. And now I am more appropriately dressed to unplug our charger at our final stop and finally make it from vegas to chicago on day three we'll get there it looks like 10 20 p.m a little later than hoped but kind of where we expected so let's get this unplugged and let's let's go back let's home go. the flash is on but we probably won't record much stuff on the drive home because it's pretty dark outside so next time you see us we will be in chicago let's go from las vegas to chicago we made it We'll do a recap tomorrow morning. It's 10.30 to go spend some time with my family, uh, get settled in and all that. But three days traveling all day, but we made it. All right, I told you guys we were gonna give like a recap of our trip here, but actually this is the start of our trip back right now. It's been a week since we've been on camera here. Enjoyed our vacation here in the Wisconsin Dells in Chicago. But we are on our way back starting right now, five o'clock Tuesday evening, hoping to get back by Friday night. And our first stop from Chicago is Bloomington, Illinois for some last Portillo's and Oberweiss, right? How do you feel about that? I'm really excited. All right. Actually, we're about to leave. We stopped for some snacks. Gonna get some rainbow cone ice cream. Got 87% battery. And we're gonna stop because she wants some rainbow ice cone. Ice cream. Ice cream. Should I get two scoops? Two scoops? Yeah. All right, after ice cream and a quick 7-Eleven stop, we are now finally off to our first destination of Bloomingdale to stop at Portillo's. We'll get there with about 33% battery, leaving with 86, and it takes about two hours to get there. We finally made it to Portillo's here in Bloomington. How was the drive? It was kind of scary because it was really foggy. Get in the camera. Oh my gosh, babe, I'm doing something. <laughs> I can only do one thing at a time, babe. The first half was super scary. We were like driving through a cloud going through Chicago. It was super, super foggy. But I mean, once we got on the actual real highway, it cleared up pretty quickly and it's just dark now and, and that was it. So, but the first half was pretty scary. But now it's just dark and we're gonna get some late night dinner here and maybe continue on a little bit. Are you gonna get a hot dog or a beef sandwich or a salad? Salad. Yeah, okay, we'll see. <laughs> Why are you laughing? 
You ain't gonna sell it. Let me see the receipt. Does it say salad on there? What does it say? What does it say on there? Beef sandwich. <laughs> Where's the salad? <laughs> what salad? The out. There's no salad in sight. Mm. Now we're in Oberweiss. Got a little shake or a sweet or something while we charge and then figure out where we're going next. Now to charge, which is like a block away, so it's super convenient. Oberweiss. All right, we're here at the charger. It says we got a few more minutes left, but we're actually gonna make it to our next charging stop with 18% battery, which is plenty of buffer for me, so I feel okay with leaving right now. We got our Oberweiss latte here, pretty good, but kind of ran through us pretty quickly. We're gonna hopefully get to St. Louis. It says 12.05, we're trying to get before midnight, and we're not gonna book that hotel yet because we're not sure if we'll make it there. If we get too tired on the way, we can probably stop in Springfield or anywhere else be between here and St. Louis. Um, but how do you feel about getting there tonight? You want to try to get to St. Louis? Yes. I think we can do it. We got like three hours here. And then really quick, the reason we're taking this trip, like starting in the evening instead of tomorrow morning, we're going to take three and a half days to get back. So today's like a quite a bit of a head start for us to take our normal three days to get back to Vegas. We can spend more time eating, seeing things and not have to rush too much. Although we didn't rush too much in the way here, uh -huh. but we're just gonna take our time maybe get back to vegas like friday evening maybe friday night, friday night the latest but um just taking a little more time to get back there kind of enjoy the ride here and we know what to expect now so we're going back the same way we came here down route 66 so we'll see some more things take our time a little bit more and then enjoy ourselves off to st louis as long as we don't hit any more fog or crazy rain we should be okay to make it there i feel pretty good get there around midnight and let's see if we can do it All right, got here with like 13% battery plug in a minute ago. Just here for a little bit. We might stop in Casey's because she's never been. Casey's is like a Midwest staple for some like gas station pizza. It's supposed to be pretty good. I think it's all right. But anyway, we'll stop here for a little bit and then get to St. Louis uh, at about midnight. And at the end, I'll add up how much I actually spent on charging this entire trip. Last stop was like $15 and this stop is just plugged in a minute ago. So. Not that much yet, but at the end, I'll show you guys and calculate everything, get everything up so I can see how much I spent from Vegas to Chicago and back. Dad, or coconut water. Do you have that at home? I the same have. exact one. Uh. Well, we got the coconut water. No, it's not. It's an aloe drink. Oh, same thing. No, it's <laughs> close enough. No, it's not. There's our car. Plenty of charge to get to St. Louis, and we'll go spend the night there. What do you think about that? Yes. All right, we didn't need that much to actually get to the hotel and the hotel should have a destination charger, but we have more than enough to just in case that's not working or someone's using it. So we'll unplug here, nice and easy and get going. All right, so we're here at the hotel. We got this sweet little Tesla destination charger. There's actually four of them here and we're the only ones parked. So pretty sweet setup we got here for the night. We'll get it charged up pretty good for the morning and we can head on out with a full charge tomorrow. All right, what happened? So we check in, but the person at the front desk doesn't know how to turn it on. He said- that Turn on the charging stations for overnight okay. charging. Okay. He didn't know how to turn it on. All right, then talk about it. <laughs> so we won't get charging for tonight, but we have enough battery to get wherever we need to get tomorrow, so it'll be fine. It would have been nice to get overnight charging, but they gotta turn them on. He doesn't know how to, it's kinda new. So we're here for the night. See you tomorrow for day two. Good morning from St. Louis, Missouri. We are here. Luckily, we got the charger working this morning, so we got a little bit of charge to go to Rolla, Missouri. I'm gonna stop for some barbecue there about an hour and a half away, and it's time to hit the road on day two. We are off with 
57% battery. Good thing we got a little bit of charge. We'll get there with about 12%, it says. Hour and a half, 11 o'clock time of arrival. Let's go. Let's go. We are here at Rolla, Missouri. Bandana's barbecue behind us. Just plugged in, gonna charge for a little bit. So the charger's ramping up. I don't know if we're gonna eat here. We just had breakfast a few, like an hour ago. An so hour we're, actually, we're actually pretty full. So we actually won't eat here. We'll go hang out, get a drink or something though. So while we're charging and waiting for this to open, we're actually looking through our passport, looking for some cool places to stop here in Missouri. So we'll stop at a few on the way back. We got more time to do that. And we'll go check them out, see how cool they are. We lied. We got a snack. Thank you, bandanas, again. Your favorite stop. Why is it? This is my favorite stop so far because I feel like their food is really good and they're affordable. Is it gas? It's really gas. All right, we got a few Tesla's charging here. There's ours on the side. Our next few stops will be all Route 66 passport stops. Check out some cool things. So stay tuned. I'm excited. All right, we're hitting all these. The little Route 66 museum. And then we're gonna hit Carthage for uh, this little visitor center. And then we will hit this welcome center. A little windy. Are you tired? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? We I drove can't. right by this place twice and she didn't park. I'm not sure she was looking for, but here it is. We didn't even the charge here. Route <laughs> <laughs> 66 little library, gift shop, museum. We'll go check it out. Sign my name too. This one's pretty cool. This huh. one's pretty cool. I mean, I, I think it's... Free? We just kind of walked in here. It's so quiet in here. The Ozark Trails Association. <laughs> Tell us about this. Um. I love it's my mom's resort. Being ten years old, my feet get wet. It's a murder mystery. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty cool. As someone who's 27 years old, I can't really relate to a lot of this stuff back in the day, but there are a lot of old things here to look at. It's 1940s switchboard. Like, I don't even know what that is. What are they? These are salt and shake. Salt and no. shake? Do it again. <laughs> these are salt and pepper shakers. All of these? Look at this. Isn't that crazy? Oh. What? This is one of the nicest museums we've seen. Or at least the one that's open. This is the driving. only one that we've seen so far. That's the only one that's open. <laughs> what do you think about the museum? Very interesting. Carmen and Joseph. And we got a little gift shop next to the museum too. We're walking mm -hmm. around a little bit. What do you think of the gift shop? I like it. It's really cute. Is it interesting? Very nifty. Nifty? Yes. Look at this. I want this one in a garage one day, but for a dollar. What did you say about these honey straws? It's favorite honey straw for for a dollar. So what you do if you're a runner, this is a good source of sugar or glucose. So you clip the end and you can... <laughs> All right, so there was like half museum, half library. We got our stamp and we got a little four by four little car sticker. It's pretty cool. What'd you think of that one? I like it. This museum is really interesting and it shows a lot of histories. 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 
there's our vehicle. Next stop, we'll charge for a little bit in Springfield, Missouri before our next two stops on this passport here. All right, stopping for a quick charge in Springfield. Macadoodles. Macadoodles, the place that has a ton of alcohol. It gives 10% off to all Tesla supercharger people. So just let them know you'll be charged when you go in. And there they are. Yeah. We don't need a charge. We've got 42%. Plenty to get to the next charger. We want to stop, get a drink, some coffee and stuff. So we're going to charge while we do that. Nice and convenient. Last time we were here, there was a little bit of a wait and some charges were actually down and it was snowy. So this is kind of nice to see an empty supercharging lot and nice weather. Ask about Tesla perks. There you go. So you're getting some coffee. I'm going to get some Highland chocolate milk. See what this is all about. So we got plenty of charge in the just few minutes we were in there. We got the chocolate milk and as a supercharger, the coffee is free. Oh, really? Yeah. So Whoa, that's, that's pretty nice. cool. So you guys know, come to Max C Store out here in Springfield, Missouri. Get a free coffee when you charge. With 66% state of charge, we have plenty of battery to get to Carthage, which is our next stop here in the book, to get our stamp and a free gift bag. So that'd be cool. What do you think's in there in the gift bag? Probably stickers. I'm gonna, uh, that was my guess. I was going to say a sticker. Well, why not? All right, we're in Carthage. We were in the country roads like an hour, and now we're parked right there in this like really small but very like packed city. It's kind of cool. What do you think? I don't know. This is so cute. So the place we went to for our stamp was the wrong address they up they moved locations apparently so we walked into like a soap shop or something like a little homemade thing it was pretty weird but really cool so we got a bar of soap free two bar, bar of soap two bars of soap for free and then we bought like a like a little homemade jam too pretty cool little shop but now we're actually here at the real place which we're supposed to be at so let's see what the goodie bag they have for us is all right here is the right place we're supposed to be at so let's go in let's go in all right, back in the car, show them what we got. All right, it wasn't, so it wasn't stickers. We didn't get a goodie bag or a sticker, but we got a book. About the history. It says then and now. It's about their history here. Of Carthage. And she um, recommended to check out these places. Oh my goodness, I can see. Yeah, I don't know and if we'll actually stick around here too long. We're kind of, not a tight schedule, we want to get going a little bit, but it is a pretty small town, pretty cool. We're like in the country for like an hour. Then all of a sudden, like, boom, hit this, like, big bus in town with a giant church and courthouse and stuff. So it was pretty cool, but no goodie bag, no stickers, but we got a little booklet here about the history of a small town. And then we'll go to our next stop now. So we're here at Carterville, Missouri, and we were gonna stop by at that Super Tam ice cream parlor stop, but unfortunately they are closed. So now we're on our way to charge the Tesla. And continue our trip. All right, we're here in Joplin, just plugged in with like 38%. That one place was closed and the other one didn't was a goodie bag, so we're a little upset, but that's okay. That's disappointing. It's not upset. We're just disappointed. We wanted goodie bags. A book I is cool, but we're not going to read that read book. book. <laughs> Last time we were here, this is the one with the Harley Davidson store all the way back there, if you can see it. That hideout. It was snow when we were walking through snow last time. So, what is better? We'll hang out for a little bit, grab a drink, use the bathroom while we charge right here. All right, we charged to 72%. We're, here's the plan charge at Katusa. Then we're going to stop at Pops where that go pops to get some soda it's a pretty cool place we'll check it out then dinner at subway eat it while we charge an okc eat it fresh and no lollygagging in between here and there what do you think <laughs> i'm not lollygagging no lollygagging let's get there we're getting hungry so our time for dinner is about 7 30. damn 
So, <laughs> no molly gagging, let's go. All right, we made it to Katusa or Tulsa. The Hard Rock Cafe, hotel, casino, all that right there. We're gonna plug in, charge for a bit, maybe walk to the bathroom, but it looks kind of far, so we'll see. But anyways, charge for a little bit before we go to Pops Soda Ring. We're gonna walk to the Hard Rock Casino. Um, last time we were here, I feel like I said a lot already, but last time we were here, it was so cold and snowy, so we didn't really get out in the car. But we're gonna walk this time and check it out. You're not cold, Hi, right? Hi, guys. It's only... It was actually cold. I thought, no, 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 okay. I thought it was cold. It's 51 it's degrees. Yeah. And the entrance is actually right there. One entrance is right there. We parked right back there. So not too bad of a walk at all. Whoa, we're in the hard rock, huh? Oh, what do you think compared to Vegas hotels? Very interesting. <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> oh. It's actually a really cool place. Check out this little like sports bar area. It's nice. This may look like Vegas, but we're not home yet. What a cool stop. The Hard Rock Hotel Casino is huge in here. Free drinks, walking around, hanging out. What do you think? Really bussing. We got lemonade. No alcohol, we're driving. It's just lemonade. You get it if you want, but not for us. This? Huh? This vehicles, this parking lot has a lot of chargers. Why can't they park on your back? When we left, it was empty. Now there's four of us. Eight stalls available. We're still getting a full charge, so we're not we we're not splitting. It's fine. We're still getting over like 100 kilowatts right now. All right, we charged here up to 74, 75 percent, about 11 dollars. Next stop is one I'm excited about, Pops Soda Ranch. Pops Soda Ranch, I hope you're okay and open. They weren't open last time on the way to Chicago, so hopefully they're open this time. We'll check them out. We're here, 34% charge. Pop soda ranch right behind us. You ready? Yeah, I'm really excited. Let's go, babe. Got the little soda bottle lit up in front. It's open. Let's go in. They got food here too. Look at all the different, hundreds of different kinds of sodas here. We'll find one that we want to try. What do you think of all the sodas? Oh, I'm overwhelmed. Overwhelmed? All the choices, yeah. This is pretty cool. Cream soda. Cream soda? A ranch dressing? That one says spaghetti. Oh. How about this one? Mustard flavored soda. These are all different. It's crazy. We got some. our passport stamped and we got six sodas. I'll let her go through all the six that we got once we get in the car. So we got to OKC with 17%. Why don't you show us the sodas really quick before we eat a little bit. Wait. Waffles and syrup. Waffles and syrup. Pineapple. Ginger beer. Root beer. Root 66 beer. Um, and then we got some cream my cream, people. Cream my people. Whatever that is. And peaches and cream. Which one do you think is your favorite? I, I think, think peaches my and favorite cream. will be ginger beer. Oh, I think peaches and cream sounds pretty good. We didn't get the mustard or the ranch soda, huh? No, nah, because I don't know. I don't well, want to waste my money there. We'll do taste this taste challenge in a later video. Taste this challenge in a later video. But anyway, we're in OKC, gonna charge up a little bit and then find a hotel 
for the night. It started at 8 o'clock. Seems a lot later, it's so dark already, but we'll see how far we get tonight. Nothing like some late night subway dinner while watching murder mysteries. It's in the fresh. Car. All right, we just left the charger. We're 89%. We're going to do one more two hour leg to Shamrock, Texas. Stay at a hotel there for the night. Get there about 11 o'clock. And she's booking it right now. here in Shamrock just plugged in came with like 10% charge we'll get a bit of charge overnight because we don't have a destination charger tonight so we got to get enough so we can leave in the morning we're gonna walk around for a little bit in the meantime mm -hmm. how do you feel about walking around I'm kind of tired but let's go walk to wake let's us go. up it'll feel good and then we can hit the hay for the night we are in Shamrock this might look familiar Right? Up here, yeah. We sat there and took a picture. We took a picture there. We were here during the day last time though, so this is a little different. Almost like a ghost town here in this Shamrock. Is scary. They were playing music over there last time. I wonder what that is, like a club over there or something, I'm not sure, but ghost town tonight. Okay. Are you done walking around? Yeah, I'm freaking cold. It's not that cold, it's no, like I'm cold. it's 35. We've got six stalls, another model X over here is with us. Yeah, it's a little corner off Route 66 out here in Shamrock. All right, we charged from like 10% to 80%. Um, it cost about, there we go, 17.21. That should get us pretty good for overnight sentry mode and pretty easily to our next supercharger tomorrow morning. We are going to go to the hotel and call it a night from here. So we will see you guys tomorrow at the beginning of day two and a half. Good morning. It's 9.45 and we're leaving a little bit late because we're lollygagging over here. <laughs> we're not lollygagging, babe. Good morning, guys. I just want to let you know I'm not lollygagging. <laughs> I just didn't really feel good, so I took my time. But anyways, we are off to Flagstaff today. Hopefully getting there. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> babe! We got 75% battery. Next stop is Amarillo, Texas. We'll get there with 22%, about an hour and a half. Let's go. <laughs> We're backing into the charger. I got a pretty good nap in. How was the drive? I was asleep. It wasn't too bad. Hour and a half. We're in Amarillo, Texas. Gonna charge up for a little bit. Pretty efficient, got her 29%. She's plugging in right now. We got a 250 charger here. Gonna stop for some food, maybe. You got a Wendy's over there, Mitch's Texas barbecue, and a little gas station. You hungry yet, or no? Are you, hung are you hungry? Uh, I gotta be. Okay, we'll go and use the bathroom and hang out, walk around a little bit. not hungry at all. It's a little early for me, but this looks like a pretty sweet lunch spot. I will, however, grab this coffee for myself. Try it out. Wake up a little bit. What are you gonna get? Probably coffee. Again? Yeah, again. You want to try the Texas pecans. That's actually a lot, of, lot to choose from. Come on. Regular. All right. Pretty cool stop. Made a little playground over there too. A lot of food options. Big gas station right now. We're off the highway too. And we are parked right over there with other superchargers. Alright. It's holding up pretty good so far. What do you think? How's the car doing? Good, I think so. I think so. Alright, we should be good to go. It says we got two minutes left to continue, but we'll get to the next stop with 15%, which is plenty of buffer there. I don't know if we'll stay for 45 minutes. We'll probably add a charger between here and Albuquerque just to spend less time at each one, but we'll look for lunch at the next stop too. So to, to Kamkari we go. To Kamkari we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're not gonna stop anywhere in Texas for our stamps. Not a lot of options. We're only in Texas for a little bit. We were already here at the Midpoint Cafe and they were closed, remember? Yeah, so we're not going and try it there. We're not gonna go back here. They were closed last time we were there. So here we go. Next stop will be in New Mexico.
quick McDonald's stop. Why don't you get a Happy Meal? I don't want a Happy Meal. I just want my baby. <laughs> This is the McDonald's. All right, we had a little sweet tea fiasco. Really Spilling it <laughs> over there. We got our McDonald's, picked it up. Gonna eat some quick lunch while we charge right over there by the Holiday Express. All right, we got here at 27%. There's the McDonald's right across the lot. So we picked that up for some lunch. And we're gonna eat while we charge because no what? No lollygagging. No lollygagging. Try to be efficient here. Eat while we charge. We'll stay here for a little bit and see where our next stop is at. All right, heading out of Tukumkari. I think I'm pronouncing it right, I have no idea. But we're gonna get to Santa Rosa, plenty of charges left. Quick little leg here, less than an hour. Just had some McDonald's for lunch, feeling good. And like we'll get going. All right, in Santa Rosa, plenty of battery, quick charge here. 61 degrees. Let's walk outside, it's nice out. All right. I'll show you how hard these chargers are to actually do. Of course the button, the one time I pulled the video out, the button's not working. Usually it opens on its own. You plug it in, wait a few seconds, and that's, that's literally it. Hi guys, we're here at New Mexico. I don't know which part though. <laughs> Santa but, Rosa. Oh, Santa Rosa. It's How's, actually nice. It's, it's doesn't the weather feel like Vegas? It feels really nice. Because last time we were, it was really snowy and I did really want to walk out. Yeah, but I made it a walk really by the little dog area over there last time. It was super cold. But this is 61 and sunny. It feels like Vegas. We yeah, must be really good. We must be close. We must be close to Las Vegas, Nevada. Yes, we're going in the holiday and not much around here besides this. So we'll go. Oh, we make a deodorant here. We're traveling with that Model S. Everywhere we go to charge, we see him with us. I think so. he's driving for California. His last place is California. It's a long way from home. For real. All right, we're gonna leave Santa Rosa. Next stop will be Albuquerque, almost two hours away. And uh, we have plenty of charge to get there. So, get there at 22%. This charging trip costs us about $10. So, let's unplug and get going. All right, here in Albuquerque, plugged in with 30% battery. We're gonna stop this Enchanted Trails RV park next, but we're by the ABQ Mall. Last time we were here again, it was dark and cold, and we stayed the night here in Albuquerque last time. So we'll walk around a little bit the yes. mall. It's nice out, things yeah. should be open. Yep. You wanna go walk? Yeah, we're gonna walk to the mall because last time it was closed. Mm -hmm. Right. Tell them what happened last time we were driving by with the homeless person. Oh yeah, it was late at night and we were getting out of the parking lot and I saw this homeless person was walking away and then a few blocks after there was like a bush that set on fire so he is acting sus so I feel like that was him <laughs> He who set did the that. bushes on fire Yeah It was a big bush, it's a big fire oh, wow. They're like, should we call the cops or something? But and I was like, uh, no we're not from here, we're just passing by Yeah, some homeless guy set a bush on fire right like past this corner over here we were driving out last time Very interesting very sus. Very sus. New Mexico people. Look Be look on lookout. We have also been listening to murder mystery podcasts <laughs> on the way here. So what do you think about the murder mystery podcast so far? Some of them are sus. Some of them are like not really interesting. The one we listen to now though, part one, two, and three. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. And we got a target. So I get some deodorant. I ran out yesterday. I've been using hers. And we're gonna use a bathroom. All right. We got my deodorant. We are walking back to the car now. What happened in Target? So we walked to the Target and then we saw like this police officer and security guard talking to kind of like a homeless person. Kind of. It was a homeless person. Was he? Yes. He was clean. Anyways. Anyways, he's trying to insist to go inside. But they're not letting him allow to go to the store. They're, they're kicking them out. There's a big argument. There are like five security 
uh, people, a couple officers on the entrance. And last time we were here, we said that a homeless person caught a fire to the bush. So yeah. New Mexico is two for two with suspicious activity. Yeah. All right, so we got the mall right here. Superchargers walking back to our car right back there. You can see them lined up. Beautiful mountain view. We have plenty of charge to continue our trip. Let's see where we're going next. All right, 82% charge. We're, I forgot, we're going to the Enchanted Trails RV Park to get a little stamp for our um, passport. Then we're going to Gallup, New Mexico. So, bit of a leg here up ahead. Let's get going. ABQ Uptown, New Mexico Mall, Albuquerque. Nice mall, suspicious people. Yeah. All right, here's a passport. Go ahead and sign it. Well, we have more in the ornament. There you go. It won't fit the fridge. Here. I mean, the Christmas tree. Oh, man, look at this. Hi, now. Hi. 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 Hi.
just plugged in in Holbrook. 25% of charge. We'll sit here for a little bit, enough to get to Flagstaff. See how long that takes. We were here last time. This is where we got the Burger King before. But the Burger King is the only thing that's around this entire area. And we have an empty supercharger here. 12 stalls and it's just us. So we'll walk around a little bit, keep our legs loose, and then call it for the night in Flagstaff. So there's been a lot of rock chips sitting in my car driving across the country, obviously. I don't have PPF on it. I don't see or notice anything too crazy, but we just saw something actually on the way here. A little bit of, you can't even see it here, so I get the camera on it. Yeah, a little bit in the windshield there. I mean, it's not cracked, just like a little chip there, kind of annoying. I mean, you can't see it from, well, I mean, you can now, you like, you know where it's at, but we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't get any worse. I don't think it will, but from Vegas to Chicago and back so far, no like big apparent rock chips, nothing crazy happening, and we're already almost back home. So keep our fingers crossed that that's the worst of it, but that is kind of annoying, huh? Yes, hopefully no more. Hopefully no more. All right, we just unplugged at 65%. Uh, here for like 10 minutes, cost us almost $13, and we have enough to get to Flagstaff for the knife. We have plenty of charge, so we should be good. And last stop, off to Flagstaff. All right, made it here, 21% battery. We got the uh, overnight destination charging to plug in behind us. A little bit of snow on the way here. You can still see it coming down pretty good. What do you think? I got scared of the snow. It was kind of a, I mean, going so fast in this, kind of hard to see with this dark windshield, but we made it and we're safe and here for the night. All right, so do you want to go plug a car in? You do it, babe. I don't know how. <laughs> you know how to do it. I, I suddenly I don't remember how. Oh, why? Uh, it, it's cold out and it's snowing. All right, we are plugged in and charging. We're at the destination charger here at the hotel. This is just a regular EV charger. These are both Tesla ones, but we couldn't use this because this Model S parked like this, so we couldn't squeeze in here. So we just used this one, got this charger, got the adapter for it, so it all worked out. Here we are in the snow. One last time, we're out of Chicago, almost in Vegas, but one more night of snow for us, I guess, huh? I guess so. All right, we're in our hotel room, signing off for the night. The good thing about the destination charge is that we'll wake up with a full charge, courtesy of the hotel here, free for us, so that's cool. And we'll catch you guys for our last day from Flagstaff to Vegas tomorrow. Should be a short trip. Three, three. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. From Flagstaff, Arizona. Day three and a half. We have a short trip to Vegas, like four hours. So we slept in a little bit. It's like 10.30 right now. We're gonna take our time getting back, but get there relatively soon. It's still sunny out. We'll go check out the visitor center here really quick, get our stamp for our passport, uh, get some lunch, and then start heading home. And with the charge, I got 90% battery. I could have gotten 100, but I didn't want to leave it at 100 overnight. That's not too good for like the longevity of the battery. So I set it to like 80, woke up to, to 90, and then now we're here at 90% better. There's plenty to get us to where we need to go next. So off we go. Here we are, good old snowy flagstaff with our passport. Gonna get the stamp at the visitor center, which is right to our left. It is. I don't know where he goes. I don't know, but here we go. Come in, here, open. Um, oh, there's their Amtrak stuff. They got a bunch of cool stuff on the back of the store, huh? This is so cute. 
cups, mugs, Christmas ornaments, patches, all decked out. Leave the visitor center. We got a nice little bag with our stamp. And what else did we get from the visitor center? Oh, we too? got an ornament. Like, this besides collecting ornaments, we also get their own Christmas tree. Okay. The front, it says Flagstaff. The back, it says Route 66. How perfect, huh? How perfect. Just like my baby. And we got our stamp right there from the visitor center. Off we go for lunch. Off we go for lunch. We are going to the Roadkill Cafe in Seligman, Arizona, about an hour drive from here. So you can see it right there, and then we'll continue on to Charge and Kingman and then make our final trip back to Vegas. And in Seligman, we have this little sticker too, or it's not a sticker, stamp for this cafe. So that's why we're going there to get a stamp, get some food, and continue our trip. in Seligman, made it with 61% battery. This is like the most historic town we've been to. We're gonna eat really quick and then get some pictures, look around a little bit. But it's pretty cool, huh? I'm excited. Yes, let's go. I think this is a real jail. <laughs> Maybe. It is. It says. Whoa. Oh, dang. We're definitely going in there after we eat. So we're here at the Kill Cafe and we get the stamp from them. And then this is what we got. A little sticker. It's pretty cool. Everything here is homemade, it seems like. It's a little homemade, homemade dessert it's section, it's homemade soup, a little family owned business yeah. back in the day. It's pretty cool. It is cute. While we're waiting for our food, we're gonna walk around the little gift shop they have back here. The bar area and all that cool stuff. The bread, the salad, everything here is like homemade. It's and pretty coffee. cool. And pretty the homemade good. coffee too, yeah. <laughs> pretty good. Oh my god. On the tail end of our trip, this might be our best meal yet. What is that from puddle? Is that one a puddle? How was the food? <laughs> really good. <laughs> Oh, cute. Obviously, the best food in Chicago, but the best food on our trip here with the experience and the family-owned vibe and stuff. That was, Everything is good. That was pretty good. Highly recommended. All right, let's go check out the town a little bit. So this is the original Route 6 road, like the OG OG road, I believe. And this town is actually where the movie's cars is based out of. Radiation Town. Radiator Springs, <laughs> I, I believe. Could be wrong, but I think it's right. Um, and there's supposed to be like old cars around the neighborhood over here, and we'll try to find some. Maybe that's one from Cars, I'm not sure, but there's another one over here too. Pretty cool. Alright, you wanna get in the jail? Get in the jail. <laughs> Just get it. I wonder if these, I don't know if they're original or not, but it's pretty cool. Go. No, I'm scared. <laughs> no. There's nothing else. There's nothing in there. No. Come on, hurry up. For the what? video. For I'm the YouTube. Scared. The, well, face your fears, babe. Okay, good night.
No! <laughs> Here's an old car too, did you see it? Right here. <laughs> it doesn't fit in here at all. So the history of these is that on this day in 1863, absolutely nothing happened. That's pretty cool. All right, one more thing for oh, YouTube. What is this again? Baby, go take a poop so in here. Disgusting. There's two, we can poop together. Uh, no. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come on. No, sit down no. and, and poop. So Seligman, pretty cool town. My windshield is really dirty, driving through five staff in the snow. But it's a pretty cool town here. Next stop will be Kingman, about an hour away. We'll charge there, we will arrive at 30%. We got 59% right now. Let's go. Let's go. Arizona Route 66 Museum, which plugged in here, 250 kilowatt charger. We got here with 30%. We'll use the bathroom, get a drink or some stuff, and then by the time we're done, we're ready to go. Little train action. This place might look familiar. This is where we got our passport at the beginning of this whole thing. So we are very close to home. Let's go. Let's go look for any souvenirs. All these old plates bunch of other souvenirs also and the museum upstairs the whole trip comes full circle Aww. this is where we got our passport to even begin with oh good times so sad our vacation is almost over i'm not even <gasps> <laughs> you're getting sad you don't want to go home yeah i don't want to go home i just want to go on vacation got i think 12 or 15 charging stations here right in the side of this museum Here's a regular parking lot, so a pretty convenient spot. All right, I thought we would need to stop one more time before we get to home, but our next stop is actually home. Two hours, we'll get there with plenty of battery. And this is it, the last leg of the of the trip. Here's our murder mystery you're watching. How do you feel? I'm really getting sad. You're getting sad. We'll yeah. stop at UNLV first to get a book for her, so I won't go home just yet. But yeah, this is our last supercharger here. Goodbye, superchargers. Goodbye, superchargers and vacation for now. Back to reality. All right, I can't believe we can make it from Kingman to Las Vegas on not even a full charge, like half a charge. That's crazy. It's two hours away. It's crazy. But here we go. Well, it's UNLV first. But then this is it. Wrapping up quite soon. Oh, babe, I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home, babe. <laughs>
All right, babe, we're back in Vegas. We're back in Vegas. How do you feel? A little bit sad. For what? real, no, I'm not being exaggerating. <laughs> Why? I just don't want to go back to school, but I have to. And back to reality. And I don't know, I just enjoy our time together. You're sad? Yeah, but it's okay. It'll be okay. Here we are, one last stop. UNLV Student Union, University of Nevada, Las Vegas, for those who don't know. To get my book for the semester. So is this, our, is this a vacation stop or are we done with vacation? I think we're done on vacation. Dang it. It's not Route 66, but we'll show you around a little bit. This is the Student Union. I've only been in here to use the bathroom before and I'll do it again. Right. Little Jamba juice action, a bunch of little places to eat. And we're gonna walk out these doors and hit the bookstore right across the alleyway over there. This is where you order food and they deliver to you in campus. What? Um, they put the food inside and then they will deliver to you in campus. Little robot thing? Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's where they put the food and then they will deliver it to you. That's pretty cool. Here's the bookstore where it says bookstore. Welcome to the, my university. <laughs> and this is called UNLV University. University of Nevada, Las Vegas? <laughs> Here we are, the bookstore. Oh. This doesn't feel like a vacation stop. It's not a vacation stop. But you know what? They got a better basketball team than Illinois. Uh, this year, I think they do. <laughs> Next stop is officially home. <laughs> I don't want to go home. We are officially in front of our garage back in Las Vegas. How do you feel? I'm not ready. We went all the way from Las Vegas to Chicago and back to Las Vegas, over 4,000 miles. We'll recap it all in a little bit, what it was like, what driving a Tesla was like, all our experiences, but we finally made it. Made it back home safe. All right, we just got back from our road trip the next day here. So we're gonna go through some stuff that might be some questions or concerns you may have, some questions that some family and friends have asked us about our road trip here. So first of all, People want to ask about the charging cost, the total charging cost for our trip. And do you want to tell them here? We edited it all up. So our total charging cost is $499.61. And that's the total from, from Vegas to Chicago and back, the total of the whole trip. All right, we're making edits. She had one job. What was the real cost? $449. Four forty nine. Not $499. $449. $449. All right, let's continue or 4,000 okay. miles for about 500 bucks. And then um, going there was, what do you think? $256.64. But on the way back. It's a little bit cheaper. It's 192.97. And the reason for that is because I think on the way back, well, all, all the superchargers are priced differently depending on time of day and peak hours and stuff. So we're always gonna have some variability. But on the way back, I think we're driving a little bit more at night and maybe they just changed their cost. So it's not just all like a flat rate for X amount of miles. It depends on the charger, the price of the charger, and there is quite a variability there. So Night time. Right? Yeah, and time of the day, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's not always set in stone X amount of money per X miles. It's, it just depends on the charger. They all have different rates for different times of day, different peak hours and everything like that. Another question we had was about the full self-driving of Tesla. So we, we bought full self-driving for the trip here. We'd get like a monthly subscription. And what was your experience like with full self-driving? What'd you think? I was scared in the beginning because, I don't know, I, I feel like, oh, should I really trust this car to drive by itself? I mean, when I turn it on, it did really good, especially when like up going up to the mountains and down and like next to the, the big trucks. Mm -hmm. And it went pretty smooth. I wasn't scared to drive after like 30 minutes of driving it. I would recommend the full self-driving in terms of long road trip road across trips, the country yeah. but for you to have it monthly i don't think so just because i think it's expensive and i don't think it's worth it just yet i think full self-driving is not there yet i think there are a lot of issues not a lot but like getting on and off the highways i noticed a lot of just like speeding up to get on slowing down to get off like you know if you get off and go in 70 and you got to slow down and make a sharp turn it takes a while to slow down and it kind of gets jerky a little bit there uh, but in terms of like the standard autopilot versus the full self-driving on the highways, having that auto lane change is super, super it's nice. Awesome. Don't it have to awesome. disengage to change lanes. And that was flawless the entire time. I mean, it, the full self-driving itself, it's, it's really safe. You're not going to get in an accident, but it's not just like smooth yet. 
And if you're paying that much for it and expecting it to be full, full self-driving, it's just, it's just not there yet. But um, I think for a road trip, autopilot would be, it'd be, it would stop us for sure, but it would be a little bit more annoying having to disengage to switch lanes and re-engage where the full self-driving, you just turn the blinker on and it goes for you. If you wanted to, you could even turn that feature off, but just do it automatically for you. But um, I think either way, um, autopilot or full self-driving versus not having that at all in any other car would have been like a nightmare for us going across the country. Yeah. It was a million times easier to just put it on and relax. You wouldn't, like we would drive all day and we wouldn't feel like fatigued or tired afterwards right, from right. driving all day. We'd get to our stop, our destination and, and, and feel fine. Yeah. So another question we got a lot was that we were going home for Christmas and there was a huge storm in the Midwest right when we went. We actually left the day later than we wanted to to kind of avoid that storm. But with that, we hit the back end of it, which we didn't get a lot of snow. But we got like sub-zero temperatures for most of our trip on the way there. And how reliable were the superchargers, do you think? I We didn't have any problems until we got into Illinois. Um, the rest from Vegas to, you know, uh, New Mexico, New Mexico to Oklahoma, and Oklahoma to, to Illinois, we were fine until once we entered Illinois. And yeah, so... Flood. So um, if you watch if you watch out of spec and you know, Kyle, you saw I mentioned his video about like the nightmare that EV drivers had during the winter, this winter storm, and we did not have that pretty much at all. We stopped at one charger that when we were like very close to Chicago, and it was late at night. It was below zero. Were out of like eight stalls, like three or four weren't working, but um, there was like one other car there, so we were just we just had to move and we plugged in fine. And other than that, like we had no issues on the way there or the way back besides just that little thing there. And it's very important to think because it's like if you get to a charger with like 10-15% battery and you, and you need that charger to work and it doesn't work, then you're kind of screwed. And Tesla is like the gold standard with reliability there, so it's not something I was worried about at all, to be honest. Even though I know it'd be super, super cold, um, even if it was snowy, you know, there's a danger of driving in the snow, but like in terms of charging, I, I, I knew we'd be okay. Another road trip question, not Tesla related at all was um, us just traveling like in the winter versus the summer. And this is something that we noticed a lot. The uh, the driving times felt a lot longer than they actually were because during the winter, the sun sets so early compared to the summer. Like it was 4.30 and it was dark in most places. So, or getting dark. And we were driving until like eight or nine o'clock at night. So after driving like five hours in the dark, you know, it feels like it's super late when it's yeah. really not. And even though like, like I said, the Tesla, like I said earlier, the Tesla, self-driving full, like the full self-driving it, it made the trip go by a lot smoother a lot easier mm -hmm. but it still just felt like long driving at night for a couple hours in a row whereas if we went in the summer a cross-country summer road trip it'd be much much more preferable i think for us i think so. because it'd just be sunnier for so much longer it'd be easier and things are open later and it's just like those dark areas you get to sometimes in the country you don't have to worry about that in the summer if it's sunny till like eight or nine o'clock at night so another question i get a lot is did i have like ppf for my car and i, and I don't um and you know, driving across the country there and back, I would expect to get some like rock ships and stuff like that. But honestly, I didn't get any. I looked at my car and it looks pretty good. Um, so people are worried about getting a Tesla and having PPF and just, you know, to avoid the little rock chips in the paint. There's plenty of ways to, to fix them, I think, if they do happen. Um, I was expecting maybe a little bit to go there and back across the country, but I didn't get any rock chips in my car. But I did get a little chip in the windshield, which... PPF would not have prevented anyway unless you could put another windshield. I, I don't know if you can or not. I don't think you can. But she found that when we were like Charging. already already on our way back yeah. in Arizona um, during that last little stretch there, we I, I was behind a truck and I, and you know you heard it and we we're like oh that didn't sound too good. Right. So we stopped the charge and then what'd you find? And then I was being nosy and I was just <laughs> looking around the windshield and I was like oh. Yeah. I saw a small rock and I was like scraping it and yeah, yeah. it was like just a little bit. You get, I, yeah, you guys saw in the video. It's yeah. it's it's not something that's gonna like go across it's the windshield. Obvious. Yeah, and it is on the windshield. So if I had PPF it wouldn't have stopped that from happening anyway. But like the front bumper of my car and everything, it had a few rocks hit it, but as far as I can tell it, it handled it pretty well. I don't really see anything. No, in there at it, all. yeah, you can tell. It's just it's just the windshield. So in terms of if you think you need PPF or not I, I don't want to sway you one way or the other, but I don't have it, and I was fine going across the country to Chicago and back. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And the most important question for last, we get a lot of these from people who don't know much about Tesla or EVs at all. Is it even possible to take a long road trip in an electric vehicle or in a Tesla? What do you think? Obviously, we got 
they're safe and back home safe and made our drive easier much easier and comfortable and i don't know i just feel safer and i wish i can have a test one day i i would say it's not only possible i think it's easier than going in any other mm -hmm. car not i wouldn't say in an ev i, do, I don't know if i rely on the, all the other chargers like i said i refer to out of spec kyle's amazing job over there you can see he tests a lot of other EV charging networks and stuff like that, and they're just not up to the gold standard of Tesla. So I don't know if I would go on a road trip in any other EV besides a Tesla, but I will say traveling in a Tesla with the reliability of a supercharging network and the autopilot or full self-driving makes it much, much easier to do a road trip in compared to any other car. So not only is it possible, it is much easier in my opinion. Would you agree? 100%. All right, that's all we got. Thanks for watching, and maybe we'll do it again, maybe next summertime. Bye. Okay.